Temple Tough, Behind the Scenes with Temple Football is presented by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. Last time on Temple Tough. The home of Temple Football underwent a $10 million renovation that culminated with a new look facility that places Edberg Olson Hall on par with the best in the country. We can't explain how much gratitude we have these people donating all their money and taking time out, out of their, their work and their life to help uh, provide this beautiful facility for us. The Owls were back in black for their game against the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. Oh, I'm playing today. I gotta play today. And those new uniforms gave Temple a first half spark in their battle for best in the Big East. Corrier looks to throw oh, play action and, and he throws over the head of one Touch receiver. Yeah. Touchdown, Temple. But Rutgers would leave the cherry and white feeling blue after a second half surge proved exactly why they bear a number 15 ranking in the BCS standings. Bring the guy next to you up. You can count on me today. Look to your right. Tell that guy that. Look to your left. Tell him that. You can count on me. Hey, let's go, D. I'm Red Food Talk. Temple battled diligently in the first half against one of the front runners in the Big East Conference. And the bitter taste of their second half slump isn't an easy one to swallow. But Monday morning's practice has the Owls feeling anything but dejected. Well, I mean, I, I think we all got to just take a, a good hard look and, and see what we, what we didn't do well enough. And uh, it's, it's a whole self-reflection and making sure um, as coaches and as players, we understand what we need to do to get better. So that's not always easy to do. It's not always a fun process, but it's, it's, it's what you got to do. The feeling after the loss to Rutgers has all but evaporated on the practice turf at Shodoff Field. And Temple's focus is not on what's now in the past, but on continuing to develop and improve with each practice. Hunt. Quarterback is the most complex position in football. A QB has to know every detail of his offense. And Temple's quarterback's coach, Kevin Rogers, is in charge of making what's difficult to comprehend easily understood. Here we go, let's do two drops and work on uh, Act 4041. Here we go. Weighted balls. Don't mill around. Let's have a little life, a little juice. Turn it over now. Turn it over. Cut the grass with your feet. Hunt! Cut the grass with your feet. Turn it over. Footwork now. Footwork, reach, recover, sink, recover. Give him a good read now. Give him a good read. Good. I like it. Reach it back by time in the ride. Hey, quick five. Don't come back here out of control. One, two, three, four, five, get gone. The man under center has to have impeccable timing from drop back to delivery in order to keep his entire offense in sync. We know what we're capable of, you know, and I, and I still think that we have yet to really play to our full potential. One, two, three, four, five, don't swing the ball, work off the tabletop. Hey, time out. When we are going to the left, I want you to count four steps before you start to pivot. One, two, three, four. So that means you're going to be pivoting off your right foot. You understand? Use the ball like a weight, just like we do in our drills, and get your hips around to make the throw. Head up, head up. Who you pointing? Who you pointing? Who you pointing? You got issues outside. Check it out. Here we check it out to the left. Hey, hey, a little bit quicker and more accurate. Let's go. Get your off hand on the belly. You're falling away. Just run through your throw. Coyer and his offense face yet another tall order, this time a road trip to Pittsburgh to face the Panthers. 
and on Friday morning, the owls prepare to take flight across the Keystone State. Temple arrives in the city of Bridges shortly after 4.30 on Friday afternoon. And looking towards a game that head coach Steve Adazio called critical, the Owls will try to cross the bridge towards bowl eligibility by picking up their fourth win. Pittsburgh is a sports town. Athletics are the point of pride in one of the most blue-collar cities in America. And though all sports in the city are played in the shadow of its greatest athlete, the Steel City is a football city. The Panthers play their home games at Heinz Field, the home of the NFL Steelers. The Owls are no strangers to NFL stadiums themselves. And as we approach the noon kickoff on Saturday, the teams begin feeling out the field before taking to the locker room. Temple and Pitt have had their share of meetings over the years, but though they inhabit the same state, these Owls and Panthers haven't shared a field since 2004, and this will be the first and last year they'll share a conference. Angela believed that with a little help, she could make her flower store succeed, even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better honest. Minds made. Ideas made. Breakthroughs made. Status quos erased by self-starters. Not just showing what they're made of, but what they've made. Often leading the way, always pushing forward. Forever proud of where they come from and where they're going. With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. What's better than a pre-owned Toyota? A certified pre-owned Toyota. And at Team Toyota, you won't have any trouble spotting the difference. Browse our inventory of over 200 certified vehicles. Get financing as low as 2.9% for 60 months, a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty, our three-day, 300-mile money-back guarantee, two years of complimentary maintenance, and more. At Team Toyota, you'll never get used, but you will get a great this certified pre-owned. Stop in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. Temple enters today's game 3 and 3 overall and 2 and 1 in conference play. This pivotal mid-season matchup against Pittsburgh is another litmus test for a maturing group. Explosive play! Throw and kick the ball! Explosive play! You can count on me today. Look to your right. Tell that guy that. Look to your left. Tell him that. You can count on me. That's what's in front of us right now. You want your fourth win? You got a chance to go get it. It's right here. Three and a half hours of ball to get your fourth win. Couldn't be any better. You're right in the middle of it in the seventh game of the season. Let's go get it now. Let's go play Temple football. Let's leave some on the field that we're proud of. A week ago, Temple's fast start put them up early. This week, it's the Panthers pouncing on the early opportunities. Quarterback Tino Sinceri shows his experience in the offense, orchestrating two scoring drives on Pitt's first two possessions. And here's Sinceri under a rush. They give it to Shell over the right side. Shell behind a wall of blockers in for the touchdown. And the Panthers capitalize 7-0. Pittsburgh 
under center Sinceri. Sinceri, play action, bootleg, throws, he's got a receiver. At the 10, at the 5, diving toward the end zone, and in for the touchdown. 14-0 Panthers. But Temple has seen its fair share of adversity in 2012. The Owls get a spark on the ensuing kickoff. Here's the kick, end over end. Matt Brown camps under it around the 2, and here we go. Brown out to the 10. Brown at the 15, 20. Brown, 25, breaks open, 40. He's got the kicker to beat. He's at midfield, 40. There he goes. And finally, they bring him down at the 20-yard line. That's just what they needed. Caught second down and about eight. The ball just outside the eight-yard line. It's under center. Here is Coyer. Play action fake. Naked boot. Looking in the end zone, he finds Booth instead at the five for the touchdown. Cody Booth with the touchdown throw from quarterback Chris Coyer and Temple was on the board. It's 14-7. Pittsburgh's elusive running back Ray Graham strikes twice late in the second quarter. The Owls go into the break down by a significant margin. And at intermission here at Heinz Field, it's Pittsburgh 31 and the Temple Owls 7. I really want to watch and observe a team, see if they can bow their back up right now. A team can come out and fight. A team can execute. That's what I want to see. That's what I'm interested in. The growth of this football team. And part of that growth is going to be witnessed here in the next two quarters of football. How we respond, how we react, what our energy level is, run into the football. Those are the things I want to see. So it's a great opportunity for Temple right now. With their pride on the line, Temple's opening drive of the third quarter makes a statement. The Cherry and White won't cower from a fight. Backs are in the eye, here's Coyer. Gives it to Harris over the right side, he's got a block. He's hit the 10, he's hit the five, he's in. So Temple draws first blood in the second half. But despite the fight, the deficit is too much to overcome. And the Owls suffer their first Big East Road loss of the season. Final play of the game, and it's all over here at Rainey Hines Field. The final score, hit 47, and Temple 17. In the Huddle is presented by My Philly Lawyer. Go get two first downs. Change the field position. You let that combination off, you got to go. Left up slot, freeze. Rock it, rock it. Under orange, under orange. Ready? Rock, two, three. Two, two. Rock, two, We've got to play better. Uh, we've got to, we got to, we can't let up these big plays that we're letting up. And uh, we've got to go back and, and really clearly look at why that is and, and, and address that. Had we been able to limit it even just a little, uh, I think it wouldn't have been so insurmountable to come back on. In the Huddle has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. for someone. In tough times, people get together. They help each other. And I know that we can do it because you are a part of us and we are a part of you. We believe in Dr. Conwell's statement, Acres of Diamonds. The harder the pressure, the better the quality of the diamond. Dean is a unique attorney because he gets what people are going through. He has a way of making you feel like, I know what I'm doing and everything is going to be all right. He is human. He's just not this man in a suit who says, oh, I'm going to be your lawyer and that's the end of it. Well, he was always going to be right there by our side. I'm Dean Weitzman of My Philly Lawyer. We fight for people who can't fight for themselves. My Philly Lawyer, when winning matters most. The fourth quarter of Temple's game against Pittsburgh began to see a little bit of what Philadelphia is seeing a lot of this week, rain. 
Sandy strikes. The hurricane could make landfall in just minutes. I'm having trouble hearing you. Just take a look behind me. Police are blocking the road to all but emergency vehicles. This is a very, very strong storm. You do not want to go out in this. People really need to stay home and stay off the roads. It's moving very quickly. It is holding its strength. People who did not leave, now they're calling 911, the fire department. They are trapped in their houses. We're told many of the roads are flooded impassable, uh, that thousands are without electricity. We are facing one of the most severe weather events in the city's history. The storm is coming. It's been called by many the worst storm the Northeast has seen in decades. And while football's a far cry from what's most important in a time of natural disaster, the show will inevitably go on. But not without Hurricane Sandy leaving her mark. Football is a game brave through the elements. But with a state of emergency declared in Philadelphia, the Owls cancel practice on Monday in conjunction with the university's closure and postponement of classes. Hopes were the storm would quickly pass and those in the area would remain safe, that life would return to normal. Despite the weather, Tuesday returns Temple to the gridiron with hopes that the team can get past the distractions of Mother Nature and its defeat at the hands of Pitt. Tuesday is a big day for the Owls because short week or not, Temple has a lot to correct before a difficult road test against the Louisville Cardinals. Louisville is the last undefeated team in the conference. And the Cardinals team that's ranked 10th in the BCS is led by outstanding quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. For Temple to get the upset, they must get pressure on number five. That's where defensive ends Marcus Green and John Ubodi come in. The senior men on the ends have had eerily similar seasons. Both have provided a solid presence up front, but more specifically, the two are separated by just one tackle and one sack through the team's first seven games. Shotgun formation for Sinceri and Temple in that jailhouse defense. Here's Sinceri. Here comes the rush, and they got him. Marcus Green, great, great Good. pressure there. They're even up in quarterback hurries and in fumbles forced, which leads to a simple equation for opposing quarterbacks. You can't favor one side of the line over the other when these two are on the field. Whitmer with time. Now he's going to run, and he's going to be brought down at the 25-yard line. John Yabodi and a loss of about four. It's been a great year so far. Just the camaraderie I built with my teammates, being a leader on and off the field. As far as my performance, I don't really go too much into it. I really just focus on the team performance and how good we're doing as a team. We have a really uh, young defensive team. Um, the most of the seniors on the defensive line, so obviously we got to lead the team. For seniors mentally preparing for their last several games as college athletes, it's the stretch run for self-improvement. And for these two, a major part of their improvement is the ability to push each other on the field. I mean, him, we're really competitive. Uh, before every game, like we, we talk about who's going to get the most sacks, who's going to get the most tackles. It's a friendly little competition we have in the room, you know, compare stacks and we have a thing called production points where our coaches accumulate all of our stats together so we can compete with that every day every week every day in practice we're competing uh, we always want to get to the quarterback first uh, our coach is always telling us you know giving us new moves and stuff so he's always giving us fuel to compete against each other listen you rush grass if your Bodie's standing there I'm gonna push him to the cone when he shuffles over come here Bodie to meet me I'm gonna rush all that grass right there you understand don't run into a wall that's the whole point of the drill Set him up, go opposite. Here go. Defensive line coach Sean Cronin has worked all season to improve the line's consistency. And when you have such a young defense, it's the older players who have to perform the best in big games. When you get to that, be that point of your senior year, you really got to think about, you know, it kind of hits you. You know, these are my last few games I'm ever going to play or, or this is the end of my college career or whatever it may be. And I really have, you know, 
it kind of, once it hits you, it, it, you realize how special it is, and, and you hope that that develops here in the last latter part of the year. Achieving consistency is still a battle for you, Bodie and Team Captain Green, who now have added the task of bringing along the next generation of OWL defenders. Yeah, every day in practice, as today, I was just talking to Shabazz and Mez, coaching them up, giving them a little bit of tips. Because next year, I know it's going to be their position to take on that role. And it's that commitment to leaving their legacies on the program that will return Temple's defense to its top 10 status of 2011. Cadazio is presented by Philly's Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. Hi, Coach. I'm Jamie from Horsham, Temple Alum 2007. I was wondering what role models you had when you were growing up. The biggest role model in my life was my father. He was a man of tremendous character, uh, was a family man. There was nothing more important to him than his family. He strived for excellence and overcame and was a very successful guy. And he was a teacher, a professor. And, and very proud that uh, he could make a difference in people's lives. So that would be my role model. Ask Adagio has been brought to you by Philly's Dining and Entertainment District, Xfinity Live, Philadelphia. Now starting for BW of Langhorne, the all-new 2012 Passat. Be the first to test drive the all-new mid-size 2012 Passat at VW of Langhorne. The most class in its class with dual-zone auto climate control and Bluetooth standard. The power of German engineering and up to 43 miles to the gallon. VW of Langhorne on Business Route 1. Go a few extra yards and save a lot. We need you to help these kids become these kids. to be an actress, veterinarian, or a teacher. I want to be an occupational therapist. College is very important because it will give you the degree to do the job you dream to do. We need you to help these kids become these kids. The human body is an amazing display of coordinated movement. Wouldn't it be nice if healthcare could be well coordinated too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. The holidays are here, so run, don't walk to Kelly Sports for great gift ideas and holiday savings. Santa's getting in shape for the holiday season and gathering everything on his list from sports equipment to the latest styles of Russell sweat clothing. Kelly's has it all. We also have licensed pro and college merchandise to complete every sports fan's list because at Kelly's, we supply sports. Come visit us in Westchester or our new location in Harrisburg. Kelly's would like to wish all our loyal customers and friends a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. The Temple Tough Top Play is presented by Kelly Sports. Backs are in the eye. Here's Coyer. Gives it to Harris over the right side. He's got a block. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's in. And a touchdown run. Fourth touchdown of the season for Montel Harris. So Temple draws first blood in the second half. The Temple Tough Top Play has been brought to you by Kelly Sports. The weather isn't the only difficulty the Owls will face this week. If Hurricane Sandy wasn't enough of a challenge, Temple is on the road for the second week in a row. And this opponent will prove to be one of the toughest to date on the Owls schedule. The Louisville Cardinals are unbeaten, a perfect 8-0 on the year, and boast one of the best offensive attacks in the Big East. The Cardinals are averaging just over 32 points a game and have scored over 260 points on the season, the most in the conference. Louisville showed some vulnerability last week when it took overtime to beat Cincinnati. But Temple will need to have its best game from all its best players 
to stun the nation and upset Louisville. They do have a tremendous quarterback. They have a great quarterback, a very athletic offensive line, good receivers, good running backs. So, you know, they're a very solid football team. You know, I think we've played a lot of very solid football teams as well. And so, um, you know, we just look for, we just want our guys to play as hard as they possibly can. And they do that, and then we'll be, we'll be fine. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. Glansman Subaru is Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer. Check out Glansman Subaru for savings on your Subaru, and you'll be sure to drive off in the Subaru that is right for you. With a knowledgeable, no-pressure sales staff committed to 100% customer satisfaction and excellent financing on your Subaru, it's no wonder Glansman Subaru has been Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer for almost 40 years. Check out our entire inventory at GetSubaru.com. Buy smart, drive safe at Glansman Subaru. Route 611 Jenkintown. Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. The human body is a marvel of intertwined parts. Wouldn't it be nice if your family doctors and specialists were as perfectly connected? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Hi, I'm Amanda Janney, head field hockey coach at Temple University. No matter what shape you're in, stretching is one of the best things you can do for your body. Stretching improves flexibility and performance and can help prevent everyday injuries, reduce stress, and improve your mood. It only takes a few minutes, but the benefits can last all day. For more great health tips like this, visit the IDX Healthy Steps website. On the next episode of Temple Tough, behind the scenes with Temple football. Meet the smallest man on the field who makes some of the biggest impact plays for the cherry and white. Temple prepares for its only back-to-back -back road trip of the 2012 season. And the Owls look to upset one of the best teams in the country on the road in Louisville. Temple Tough. Behind the Scenes with Temple Football has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.